The first block in our OFDM transmitter chain is the bits to words sub VI. We need this because we're going to be taking in one dimensional array of parallel bits and we need to group them into the appropriate length uh, bit words. In order to do this, we're going to take advantage of one of LabVIEW's built in functions, the reshape array function, uh, which can be uh, used in a number of applications and is quite powerful if you understand how it works. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is take in our, our input, the parallel group of bits, and remember in LabVIEW environment this is represented by the true-false boolean data type. And then we need to know just a little bit about our system in order to specify the dimensions, uh, both the number of subcarriers and the number of bits per symbol. So ideally we need to output an array that has uh, a bit word for each subcarrier, so the number of subcarriers will be the first dimension. And then each of those arrays, those bit words, will contain bits per symbols, bits, because each symbol needs to have a certain number of bits so they can properly uh, index the word to symbol map. Now, as we talked about, we're going to go ahead and use the built in function reshape array. If you're confused on how this works, I encourage you to check out the detailed help. But it's pretty simple. We specify the dimensions that we want, and it takes in a certain dimensional array and reshapes it into a different dimension uh, depending on what you input. Uh, note when it comes out it may not have this many inputs but you can simply pull and drag and specify however many inputs you want. With that we just need to specify our array. The first dimension again is going to be the number of subcarriers and then each of those uh, array elements will be an array of bits per symbol bits. And with that we're ready to make our final output and our job is done. If any of this is confusing or if you have any additional questions I encourage you to check out the CNX module or email the author for more information.